So welcome everyone. Uh, today we're here to present uh, the new project, which is called an AI-based framework for harmonizing the climate policies and projects with the sustainable development goals. I'm Francesco Fusonerini. I'm a social professor in energy systems for sustainable development, and I'm the director of the KTH Climate Action Center. And I'm today joined by my colleague, uh, Ricardo. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining today. My name is Ricardo Vinuesa. I'm an associate professor also at KTH in the Department of Engineering Mechanics. I'm also vice director of the KTH digitalization platform, and I'm also involved in the KTH Climate Action Center together with Francesco. Perfect. And uh, let's start uh, a bit about with the background of why this proposal. Uh, and this proposal tries to understand and uh, unveil some of the dynamics of interactions among sustainable development goals. So since the SDGs were introduced in 2015, um, an exciting field of research has started that tries to understand how these uh, goals can be achieved synergetically. So how the 169 targets that are within those goals can be used to direct, understand, um, and uh, yeah, improve research policy and projects. Um, and to date, uh, a lot of studies have emerged, uh, for instance, using uh, qualitative expert-driven methods, using methods based on literature, methods based on uh, stakeholder participation. However, these studies to date, and some of those are here on the right, have some key limitations. Uh, well, first of all, there are some biases associated with data gathering and the expertise of the experts that do these analysis. Uh, and also there is a limited possibility of analyzing scientific literature and evidence to understand these interlinkages. So again, remember that we're looking at 169 targets, so a lot of information needs to be reviewed. <clears throat> so yeah, basically what we uh, claim here is that a new approach is needed to mainstream using the SDGs to guide policy makings and project, project development. Um, so the hypothesis, is, uh, sorry, <laughs> the hypothesis in this project is that AI methods can be used to revolutionize the study of SDG interlinkages. Uh, and what we propose is that uh, uh, we want to use uh, the field of uh, natural language processing or NLP, which is a subfield of AI to automatically identify synergies and trade-offs among the sustainable development goals. Um, and in this project, we aim to do so first by uh, testing it with uh, understanding how uh, projects within climate action, so mitigation adaptation can be harmonized with the SDGs. Uh, but more broadly, we want to create a tool that is available for policymakers and project developers um, to do so even in a broader scale. Um, so now I leave the word to Ricardo to explain a bit more about the methods and the structure of the project. Thank you very much, uh, Frances Francesco. Uh, the idea, and this is a project that we uh, got funded for uh, from Digital Futures, so that's uh, that's the, the topic that we're discussing today, uh, is to basically extend all the framework that Francesco has discussed, uh, which is usually based on uh, expert elicitation, so basically experts with many different areas of, uh, of expertise uh, who discuss, interact, and try to really come up with a consensus-based assessment uh, to really try to uh, extend that and use uh, artificial intelligence intelligence, uh, in particular NLP, to be able to, first of all, remove the bias that is introduced by expert assessment, and second of all, to really extend massively the amount of sources, the amount of data that can be analyzed and gathered to have a quite complete um, assessment of all of this. So our project is divided into three main blocks, the three word packages that you can see on the screen. Uh, in the first word package, what we do is that we will uh, establish a, a classification. So we will uh, do unsupervised learning uh, and we will get later a bit in more detail into the methods, uh, but essentially we will have a number of references. We're talking about thousands of articles and research projects that are automatically classified by their connection uh, with each of the 17 sustainable development goals. Uh, that classification, as I mentioned, is unsupervised, which means that we are not giving any labels, but it's the algorithm itself which is able to really identify the connections. In the second word package, step number two, we will use that information 
uh, which is basically a massive uh, database of articles and projects connected with SDGs uh, to be able to establish connections among those SDGs. So we want to really uh, have a matrix like this one, yeah, but something a bit more uh, dynamically in terms of a, of a database, of a dynamic database, where we can really see uh, how one SDG is impacting all the others in a positive or a negative manner. And that again is done uh, in an unsupervised way uh, that requires quite some understanding of the meaning uh, that the article has and of the implications on different areas. And for that, we will be using, uh, I mean, one of these uh, very popular tools now that have been developed in uh, NLP, which is transformers. Transformers are attention-based uh, neural networks, which are able to um, process massive amounts of texts, massive amounts of data. Uh, they're attention-based in the same as that uh, there is um, embedding of being able to establish connection between the words in a particular sentence and through, well, being able to get some sort of understanding of the meaning of the text, we will try to establish those positive and negative connections in more messages. So once again, this is an extension of the previous work that Francesco has referred to, which is basically relying on expert elicitation, but a bit in a more objective way, because it's driven by the uh, massive amounts of articles that we can find and on the um, assessment through the through the transformer architecture. So in the second step, we will come up with this matrix that you can see here, where we have positive and negative uh, synergies across SDGs. Now, of course, this establish uh, this can establish uh, a bit of a conflicting um, scenario, right? Because if we want to improve one particular SDG, we may actually be impacting negatively many others. Uh, that's why we have uh, the third word package that you can see here on the right, uh, in which we will use uh, optimization algorithms to be able to come up with optimal policy decisions. In terms, for example, of investment, we have a particular amount of funding that we want to use to really develop a particular SDG. And of course, the two of us being involved in the Climate Action Center, SDG 13 on climate action is one of our uh, priorities. Uh, so we can really try to establish um, basically the non-trivial connections, because uh, so far the studies relying on expert-based uh, expert elicitation uh, have been able to identify quite obvious connections, but now with AI we can uh, reveal those non obvious connections and using, for example, a grain descent, Bayesian optimization, uh, but even, even more advanced techniques like reinforcement learning for dynamically changing environments, uh, we can kind of have the possibility to, um, to develop optimal policy decisions. So once again, first connect articles and projects with SDGs, then positive and negative effects, and then finally the uh, policy decisions that are optimal given this scenario. Now, going a bit more into the into the uh, details, uh, we are going to really go into all these subtasks within the three word packages. And this is actually work uh, done um, in collaboration with several actors. One is the Polytechnic University of Valencia, where um, the group of um, uh, Jose Alberto Conejero and Sergio Ollas have really been instrumental in developing the material for Word Package One. We have actually presented our results in several congresses now with quite some nice reception. Uh, and then we have uh, a great support also by Professor Javier Garcia Martinez, who is the president of the International Union of Pure and Applied uh, Chemistry, the U IUPAC, uh, who is really an active researcher also in the context of the SDGs. So this is part of a quite large international effort uh, where we are actually engaging a number of collaborators and stakeholders. Uh, we can also provide some uh, overview of some of the methods employed for the first, um, for the first uh, connections. And we can uh, see here the uh, first approach based on latent directly allocation. So LDA, latent directly allocation, is a generative probabilistic model, very widely used in NLP, which really allows us to establish the themes. So connecting the various articles and references with, uh, with SDGs. And this is work that we have already published um, in, the, in the work by Talal and others, where we uh, basically connected references and uh, curricula of um, computer science uh, universities, a number of universities, and we associated them with topics and uh, subsets of the, of the data pertaining to those curricula. So we have really assessed how LDA can be effectively used to make such a classification. And in the next slide, we're actually going to see another alternative to perform this. This is the non-negative matrix factorization, which is 
space more on linear algebra. This is basically a matrix uh, decomposition approach, which is actually, as you can see here, for the example of uh, SDG2, uh, quite effective in performing such a um, an unsupervised learning methodology. So you can see uh, also uh, this is work by um, uh, Dillion and others who can really, really establish the possibility of using the uh, non-negative matrix factorization approach for a supervised learning in large, very large databases. So this is a little bit of the of the perspective. And if we go now to the final slide, we can really uh, show a little bit the, the significance with our, our strategic partners. I mentioned some of them, including Javier Garcia Martinez, but we have a number of other uh, collaborators, some very impactful partners in this um, in this work. I mean, Francesco, you can give some final words also to, uh, to the effect of our strategic partnerships in the project. Thank you very much for uh, your attention, and we are happy to take uh, questions uh, and to really discuss further if you're interested. Thank you so much. You know, thank you. And uh, as Ricardo was saying, this uh, this is a very interesting project that uh, we look forward to take uh, yeah to take forward and and develop.